Hey everybody, welcome back to my new series entitled Walk and Talk. If you saw my first episode the other day, you know this is really all about me trying to get back in shape, trying to get to where I can do two things at once, mainly walk and talk, and spending some time with you. So it's all kind of a benefit, hopefully for all of us, but I'm enjoying this. Uh, today, as opposed to like on last episode where I was out in my backyard, which is my favorite place in the world by far, I've come to one of my second, maybe third favorite places in the world, and that is today we're out in what is called locally as Chocolock Park. I can't spell that. I'll show the sign up here in, on the video in a moment, but I'm in Chocolock Park. It is a wonderful place. It is about, I don't know how many acres. I should have looked that up, but it's huge. It is a humongous place. It consists of a number of softball slash baseball slash soccer fields all sort of things uh, recreational wise uh, there are tons of hills like the one behind me right here uh, which my children refer to as the mountain basically what happens there a lot of people like to run up the mountain and back down for exercise there's also a flat place on top and so a lot of times people will get up on that flat place and have a picnic we've done that it's a lot of fun and then also there's a beautiful, beautiful lake that is in the center of all of this. So the whole walking track, whether you choose to walk a mile on one leg of it, two miles, maybe even three on the biggest one, the longest, um, all surrounds a beautiful lake, huge lake out here filled with fish and all sorts of beautiful uh, wildlife around it. Everywhere you walk, there's a squirrel running in front of you, that sort of thing. So just a really, really nice place. And I enjoy coming out here probably about as much as anywhere. I spend a lot of time out here with the children uh, because they enjoy again, I'll show it now, the mountain and climbing it behind me. They enjoy the playgrounds over here. Just all that they can do. They love it. Just running and playing in the beautiful green grass and, and the sunshine is good. And I find it very good for me. Not only good for me physically to get out here and do this, but good for the heart and good for the soul to be able to spend time in nature and spend time in, uh, you know, just enjoying God's creation, which is I like what I like to do. But, uh, I'm here and I'm enjoying it. Again, Chocolate Park, one of my favorite places I wanted to share with you. Now, I wanna ask you one question today and that is very simply stated. I asked you last week who you were. This week, tell me how you became acquainted with transplant. What caused you to either need a transplant or if you're a caregiver, what caused you in that case to uh, find out a loved one needed a transplant? How did that come about? I'd love to hear your story. I'd love for you to share that in the comments below and I'd love to uh, be able to respond. So thank you so much, folks. Again, I encourage you to get out, enjoy nature, and certainly walk and talk. Well, I decided I'm going for it. I'm going for the mountains. So let's get ready and let's head that way. As you were just seeing, you probably didn't understand the context, but I was actually walking up the mountain right there. It's a pretty steep hill, pretty difficult to incline, particularly for me who can't usually walk and talk. In that one, I chose not to talk. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to accomplish it, but I am all the way up here at the very top right now. And so pretty high off the ground, overlooking the lake in the background, the ball fields, the playgrounds, everything that's beautiful about Chocolate Park. And I'm up here and I made it and I'm excited. Uh, that's something that uh, prior to transplant I certainly couldn't have done and post transplant to be honest has been pretty difficult. Still is. Not real easy but I was able to make it and so glad for that. This is one of those places I bring the children to a lot out to Chocolate Park and then particularly up here on the mountain as they call it. It's like a, uh, a mound, a plateau uh, because they'll usually get up here and roll off the side of these hills. I've shown you video of that before. I know that that's probably pretty entertaining. At least it's, it's fun for me as a dad to watch them do that and uh, get to spend the time like that with them. So uh, since I haven't to this point uh, done much walking with you, let's just stand up and uh, head on our way. How about that? Let me get this picked up and uh, get off here and we'll head on our way and we'll continue our walk together. I hope you are spending time outdoors spending time getting to be with nature. It's good for 
the whole body, the soul, and everything. And I know that you would enjoy it if you did. And I'm glad that you are having a great day. I hope that you are at least. I'm having a good day. And let's go ahead and head down this hill. I don't know if you can tell. But let's head down this hill together. And then I will see you. Ooh, having to move faster than I thought. You don't get to control how fast you go down this hill. You kind of just go with it. But at least I'm doing it. Y'all have a great day, folks. Stay stronger.